Today, we're going to learn about the Emerald Tablet, a legendary artifact that has captured the imagination of scholars and mystics throughout the ages. We will trace its ancient attribution to the mythical Hermes Trimegistus, decipher its renowned phrase, as above, so below, and unearth the legendary accounts of its discovery. The origins of the Emerald Tablet, known as the Smaragdine Tablet, are as mysterious as they are profound. It's believed to have been created between the 6th and 8th centuries AD, yet the details of its birth remain elusive. Although we can't pinpoint the tablet's creation with precision, we can attribute this significant piece to Hermes Trimegistus. Hermes was a great figure, check out our video on Hermes, who was revered as a sage, a philosopher, and perhaps most notably as an alchemist. His name itself is a fusion, uniting the wisdom of the Greek god Hermes and the Egyptian deity Thoth, both considered gods of writing and magic. This merging of Greek and Egyptian understanding is not by chance. The time when the Emerald Tablet was said to be written was an era of synthesis, where the melding of cultural and philosophical ideas between civilizations was common. Given the secretive nature of the alchemical texts, the tablet's enigmatic reputation adds to its legend. It stands as a testament to the era's search for knowledge that spanned continents and cultures, seeking to distill the very essence of nature itself. The legacy of Hermes Trimegistus and the Emerald Tablet is not merely in their alleged historic existence, but in their profound impact on centuries of thought, uncovering layers of symbology, and sparking inspiration in those who sought the deeper meanings of existence. While we cannot conversate with the ancients to unveil the complete history, we can certainly appreciate the enduring intrigue surrounding the Emerald Tablet, a work that to this day remains a symbol of universal wisdom in the quest for transformative knowledge. The Emerald Tablet isn't just a historical document, it's a profound piece of philosophical work steeped in allegories and symbols. To the untrained eye, the text may appear mysterious, yet for those familiar with Greek and Egyptian traditions, it's a treasure trove of hidden meanings. The Emerald Tablet speaks a language where every emblem bridges the material world with profound spiritual truths. It draws from the Greek tradition of using analogy and metaphor, employed by philosophers like Plato, who often use allegorical tales to express complex ideas. Within the clandestine folds of history, lies the influential legacy of Hermetic philosophy, itself a cornerstone to the enigmatic Emerald Tablet. Hermeticism, a tradition steeped in wisdom attributed to the sage Hermes Trimegistus, is a confluence of mystical, philosophical, and religious insights that originated in the Greco-Egyptian period. At the heart of Hermetic philosophy is the profound principle of cosmic unity, the belief in an interconnected universe where every part reflects the whole. This holistic perspective is encapsulated in the enduring axiom, as above, so below, a phrase immortalized in the text of the Emerald Tablet. This maxim suggests that happenings in the heavens mirror those on earth, and that by understanding one realm, we gain insight into the other. The expression, as above, so below, is not merely a curious saying, but a key to unlocking the workings of nature and the cosmos. It implies a symbolic relationship between the macrocosm and the microcosm, serving as a bridge between the tangible world and the intangible domains of the spirit and mind. In essence, Hermetic teachings propose that a deep understanding of the natural world is congruent with realizing spiritual truths. Though shrouded in allegory, the Emerald Tablet's allusions to these principles allowed for a vast exploration of reality, unifying domains of existence thought to be separate. Hermeticism posits that humanity holds the potential to harness this cosmic unity, suggesting that through knowledge and spiritual enlightenment, one can achieve a divine state, transcending the material plane. This age-old wisdom espoused by the tablet transcends mere historical curiosity and continues to inspire seekers of esoteric knowledge. The expanse of hermetic thought reaches far and influences myriad philosophical and spiritual systems asserting that life is a microcosm of the greater cosmos, an idea that continues to resonate through centuries. The Emerald Tablet presents us with a most intriguing and arcane concept, the transmutation of base metals into gold, a metaphorical journey akin to the elevation of the human spirit. 
Its verses encapsulate a profound process, cryptic yet charged with meaning, revealing the steps an alchemist must take to achieve this legendary transformation. This transmutation is far more than mere physical alteration. It conveys a dual importance. It's not only about the altering of substances, but also symbolizes the refinement of the soul. As alchemists were known to labor tirelessly in their quest to convert lead into gold, so too is the individual encouraged to foster their own inner growth and purification. Alchemy, in the message of the Emerald Tablet, implies a journey of perfecting the imperfect, liberating the pure from the impure, a notion that resonates deeply with the personal quest towards self-improvement and enlightenment. This sacred art, therefore, becomes a conduit for personal transformation, a path laden with spiritual implications as much as chemical experimentation. This symbolic transformation commences with the prime material, believed to be the most fundamental element from which all things are formed. The text suggests that by understanding and manipulating this prime material, one can perform the miracle of alchemy. The Emerald Tablet serves as a guide, although it's enigmatic. It instructs seekers in the art of alchemical transmutation, inviting them to explore not just physical reactions in their retorts and alembics, but also the metaphysical reactions within their souls towards attaining a state of golden wisdom and purity. The Emerald Tablet, a jewel of hermetic wisdom and a cornerstone in the edifice of alchemical lore, has had a profound effect on the evolution of alchemy. From the Islamic Golden Age to the scholarly halls of medieval and Renaissance Europe, It's fascinating to observe how this cryptic text crossed cultural and geographical boundaries, taking root in the rich soils of the Islamic world. There, scholars like Jabir ibn Hayyan, also known as Geber in the West, poured over its content, drawing inspiration to further their quest to unlock the secrets of nature. The principles contained in the Emerald Tablet catalyzed advancements in chemistry, medicine, and the elusive pursuit of the Philosopher's Stone. The impact did not stop with Islamic alchemists. As the Renaissance of classical learning swept through Europe, the tablet's influence only grew stronger. In the 12th century, the Latin translation of the Emerald Tablet emerged, further igniting the minds of scholars and mystics across the continent. Among the luminaries that contemplated its verses was Albertus Magnus, an esteemed figure in medieval alchemy. His extensive work laid the groundwork for those who followed, bridging the gap between ancient wisdom and the emerging scientific approach of his time. Then came Paracelsus, whose fiery writings and revolutionary thought were partially kindled by the enigmatic words of the tablet, rejecting the classical four elements of air, earth, fire, and water. Paracelsus embraced the tria prima, sulfur, mercury, and salt, as the foundational substance of all things, a concept that resonates with the triadic nature of Hermes Trimegistus himself. Together, These towering intellects, and many others, shaped the course of alchemy. Through their interpretation and experiments, they sought to unravel the celestial riddle as above, so below, and in doing so, they carried the torch of the Emerald Tablet's wisdom into future generations, forever altering the landscape of esoteric and scientific thought. At the heart of alchemical study, nested within the text of the Emerald Tablet, lies the quest for the Philosopher's Stone. This legendary substance is said to possess remarkable capabilities, chief among them the power to turn these metals into precious gold and, perhaps more enticing, to grant eternal life. For centuries, alchemists have poured over the cryptic passages of the tablet, parsing its instructions in the hope of uncovering the secrets to create this fabled stone. But where does the emerald tablet fit into the pursuit? Historians of alchemy will point out that while the documents do not explicitly mention the philosopher's stone by name, It is widely interpreted to describe the process of its creation, the steps to achieve the grand transmutation, taking the impure and elevating it to a state of perfection. These are believed to be encoded within the text. The alchemist's work has always been dual-faceted, practical in the lab and reflective in the soul. This duality parallels the supposed power of the philosopher's stone, which operates on both material and spiritual levels. Here again, The principles of the tablet resonate with this multidimensional transformation. As scholars would assert, the successful creation of the Philosopher's Stone was far more than an exercise in metallurgy. It represents the ultimate attainment of wisdom and enlightenment, the convergence of earthly and spiritual achievements. 
the fleeting mention of the stone within historical alchemical texts often leads back to a study of the Emerald Tablet, suggesting a hidden roadmap to not just worldly wealth, but to the deepest wells of human consciousness and the divine. Thus, the Emerald Tablet's cryptic verses have held alchemists in thrall, underpinning their most ambitious goal, to grasp the intangible to discover the Philosopher's Stone, and through it, the secrets of existence itself. The Emerald Tablet is more than a mere recipe for alchemical experiments. It is a bridge between worlds. At the heart of its verses lies a profound theological implication, the unity of the material and the spiritual, the tangible and the divine. Its inscription dates from the dust of ages, yet it speaks to the alchemists in a language that transcends time. The pursuit of knowledge is both a physical and spiritual quest. To understand the minerals, the metals, the very elements of the earth, is to glimpse the workings of the divine. The process of transforming lead into gold is not just about yielding wealth, but about the elevation of the human soul. This path of enlightenment is not marked by blind faith alone but accompanied by the practical application of science. Each step on this journey is an act of discovery that involves turning the external into something noble, mirroring the eternal quest for inner purity and spiritual elevation. Through its enigmatic text, the Emerald Tablet promises no less than a way to harmonize the duality of existence. It holds a vision, a promise. Some might say that through the mastery of the natural world itself, one can approach the gates of divine knowledge. In this way, Alchemy, as proposed by the Emerald Tablet, serves as a vessel navigating the confluence of earthly chemistry and celestial understanding, charting a course towards the ultimate truth. The lore of the Emerald Tablet captivated not only the alchemists, but also the intellectuals of the Middle Ages and the blossoming minds of the Renaissance. These eras, rich with scholarly quests, saw the tablet as a beacon of ancient doctrine, a confluence where mysticism and reason met. During the medieval age, the Emerald Tablet's repute had spread far and wide. It was a period anchored in religious thought, yet brimming with a hunger for knowledge. Scholars pored over its encrypted dictums, searching for a synthesis of spiritual truth and material practice. They pursued a grand unity of all knowledge where the pursuit of philosophical truths and the exploration of the natural world were two sides of the same coin. As we transitioned into the Renaissance, an era marked by the rebirth of classical thought and humanistic values, the tablet took on renewed significance. Renaissance thinkers like Marsilio Ficino and Pico della Mirandola, who propelled the intellectual movement of the time, were entranced by the promise of hidden wisdom within the tablet's words. They embodied a new wave of scholars who believed in the potential to reconcile the spiritual and the empirical. In their contemplations, these Renaissance men saw the Emerald Tablet not just as a guide to material transmutation, but as a roadmap to human metamorphosis. They envisioned the possibility of elevating the soul to divine heights through the very act of understanding nature's secrets. After all, it wasn't the tablet asserting that to know the world was to know ourselves and thereby to know the divine. But Among medieval cloisters and in the enlightened courts of the Renaissance, the Emerald Tablet was revered. It didn't just shape the arcane practices of alchemy, it stirred a profound web of inquiry, igniting discussions that waded into the waters of theology, philosophy, and the sciences, questions that sought to answer the complexities of existence itself. The translation history of the Emerald Tablet marks a significant journey from east to west. Originally penned in Arabic, This arcane text eventually found its way into the hands of European scholars. The critical Latin translation emerged in the 12th century, and with it, the teachings of the tablet began to permeate the Western world. This was not merely a transfer of knowledge, but a cultural and intellectual exchange that would leave an indelible mark on the trajectory of alchemical and esoteric thought. As these profound ideas crossed the linguistic boundaries, they took on new life and sparked a renaissance of mystical and philosophical inquiry. The cryptic nature of the tablet meant that each translator and interpreter might see it in different shades of meaning, adding a richness to the ongoing discourse. This variety of interpretations laid a foundation for the text to hold relevance even as the world changed around it. In our times, the Emerald Tablet continues to inspire, not as a literal guide for transmuting metals, but as a metaphorical compass 
for those navigating the complexities of personal development and spiritual growth. Modern seekers of wisdom often look to the tablet not for secrets to material wealth, but for guidance on how to refine and elevate the spirit. The allure of the emerald tablet endures, a testament to the timelessness of its encoded wisdom. It invites each of us to look deeper, encouraging a reflection on the unity of the universe and the potential for transformation that lies within. In essence, the tablet's journey through languages and cultures mirrors our own, a quest not simply for knowledge, but for the enlightenment that knowledge can bring. And that's it. That's all I've got. That is the Emerald Tablet. And with that, I hope you guys have an awesome day.